Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get custom skins in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And if you like Minecraft videos like this one, please do like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And yes, I am in the Bedrock Beta, but this won't matter, it will be the same if you're not in the Beta and if, if you are in the Beta, so don't worry about that. So. Right now I just have a Steve skin, but if I go over to Profile, you will see that I have my Java Edition skin right here. And so I can select it and then have my own custom skin. So I just created this skin using an online skin creator, nothing uh, special or anything. And so how do you get your Minecraft Bedrock character to get this custom skin? Let's see. So let's go over to this second character over here and let's edit it. So there are a couple of screens here and I will explain what all of this means. So first of all, there's a couple of things you can do over here. You can change all of these things. There are premium stuff you need to buy and yeah, there's just a whole lot of stuff here. There's stuff you can get by doing achievements as well. There's just a whole lot of options. But the second one is important because this is classic skin. So this is character creator where you can create something yourself using all of these paid stuff and all of the stuff you already have in your inventory. So lots of these you just have to pay for, which is for real money, which I don't think many people want to do. So the second tab over here will go over to classic skins. Third tab is emotes. So you can make your character do emotes, which once again, you can pay for if you want to. And for some of these, that's also to, uh, for achievements. So for example, this one. And the last tab is capes. You can check out the different capes. So for example, there's this one. And my other character also has a different cape. But what we're interested in right here is this second tab. So there's owned and get more. So in get more you can buy skin packs, which did I just see among us? Okay, wow. But let's go over to owned and then over to import. So you can import an image file to use as your skin. And as it says that it will not sync between devices or games. So you'll only see it in your version of better condition. Of course, other people will see it as well. So just go over to choose new skin. And here we go, it opens up a file like this, and you can see my different skins. This is my old skin and my new one as well. So just move over to the directory where you save all of your skins. So you need a file like this, where all the different sides of the skin have been laid out like this. Then you can select it, open it, and then over here you can see two versions of it. So this left one has this small arms, as you can see. 3 pixel wide arms and the, these have the 4 pixel wide arms. And so these are the most common type of skin. So let's select that one and there we go. We got our custom skin into the game. We can just go back, go back and now we have two of the same guy over here. So there's me and there's me again. You can have 5 skins in total here as well. So now I'm going to quickly show you how to get one of those skin files. Okay, so here we are on Nova Skin Minecraft Skin Editor. And here you can edit your own skin and make it to whatever you want. My skin is right here. There will be a link to this site in the description down below. So you can check it out yourself as well. And using this you can easily create your own skin files. And you can also choose from other skins to start with over here. And I think, yeah, yeah. There's Dream as well. So let's start off with him, why not? So for most skins you want to check this box over here because it actually randomly changes the color when you move over. So that's like this. It's not all the exact same type of red, there's a little bit of texture in there. And I think I just murdered Dream. <laughs> so down here you can choose different colors and you can switch between whatever color you want as well. So let's try to make an evil version of Dream by making him red instead of green. So you can also use the flood fill tool. So then you need to change this one over here, this color. So let's make it red and let's flood fill him. So there we go. That makes it even quicker to change all of these. Let's do this arm as well. There we go. Top of his head. And there we go. We've made a red version of the dream very quickly. Also change this back to this color. Awesome. By the way, I don't really like that one black one. There we go. So now we've gotten this. We've created our beautiful skin. It's perfect. You can also toggle these. You can remove the head and stuff like that as well. There's also the outer line over here. That's the outer part of the skin. You can change that as well. Let's make a big smiley there. Okay, I'm making it very creepy now. So that's just by toggling over here. You can toggle it to completely disappear. See both the small part and the big part. And see only the small part we have over here. So you can add, change all of that as you wish. And now you can go up here and click save. 
and save it and then you can download it afterwards as well just click download and save it and now if we hop back onto minecraft into our player editor and let's see if we can find it so let's go into owned and import choose new skin then right at the top over here we have our creepy dream skin let's select it and there we go it was easy as that let's select the second type and now we have uh, this monstrosity so there we go we can back out and now we have this so you can only have one of these custom skins at a time as you can see this one changes as well and now if we just log into a world you will see that we are a demonic dream right now which would technically be a nightmare i think but there we go, that's how to get your custom skins into Minecraft Better Condition. If you like this video, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as well. I want to thank my tier 3 members, Gus, March, Calvin Avers, Zobot and the Smikalar. Thank you so much for becoming a tier 3 member. If you also want to become a member, click the blue join button below the video. Okay, I can't take myself serious here. But yeah, click the blue join button below the video and check out the different tiers. But there we go, that was the video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one, so until then, bye bye!